Hey, welcome back. <laughs> I had to cut pretty abruptly last time. I was getting uh, low on time there. Not because of uh, um, the time I'm recording, but because of uh, my hard drive. <laughs> I've been, um, been actually recording and... Uh, where are you going? We're recording and um, archiving my recordings for uh, for a while now. And um, can I say <laughs> the uh, recording software I'm using creates huge, huge files? And you gotta be careful about that. So what do we have here? There's a dude up there. So wow, mage. Mage with that much range. Uh, I'm wondering where this guy. Whoa! 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 whoa. Ooh. <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. You know you can backstep with by by um, tapping. Uh, is it? Uh, the B button on the Xbox controller, <laughs> but you never remember when you... You never remember that one time it's actually useful. <laughs> anyway... Um, the thing about um, hard drive space, uh, it shouldn't be a problem for... I don't know... Um, like, uh, only, only be a problem for another week or so because I uh, bought another two terabyte hard drive. So looking forward to that. Going back through the mill. And there's this one uh, I just kind of uh, hovers in midair. Okay. Our goal is this uh, fog door, I guess. I don't quite notice it from here, actually. And that's one more death. <laughs> Can't tell you what's so bad about these dudes. Because on my way up top, they never pose any kind of problem. You see here? No way. I mean, okay, there's the second dude hangs out in the background. Maybe it's because. The combination of two upgraded rogues at the same time make all the difference. That's why I like all this game so much. It's uh what? Okay. Like a breakable wall to me or it's it's not an illusionary wall either, so that kind of design is all uh, unhelpful. But still, uh, I was gonna say the uh, enemies and how they affect the gameplay, like placement of enemies, is something um, something that many games should aspire to. 
kind of take to heart at least. I'm not saying every action adventure RPG stuff uh, should copy Dark Souls to the letter, but from a game designer's perspective, um, designing your environment and your enemy placement in a way that it's enough of a challenge that it that lets the player feel accomplished, but it's not as bad as to um, make the player feel frustrated. That's a fine line to, to go down. Oops, I'm gonna go up here. Pick up this item, Mannequin Saber. The art of puppetry is a vestige of the two lost lands. The queen entranced by poison used it to beckon unknown souls to the valley. Hmm. Something else about this queen. Interesting. So, I guess these, um, these workers she has here, I thought they were prisoners, but, uh, I guess they're not only that, but also, um, I guess, slaves and, and uh, you know, some kind of zombie. Not going through there yet. Let's see what's up here first. So maybe they're, um, they're, uh, under a spell of some kind. Let's warn people here of this pressure plate. Hope we can find it. Be wary of That's fucking creepy. Fickle Queen gave them life and tore their faces. How else could she forgive those who dared gaze upon her? Wow. So these are actual human skin masks, I guess? From 
the guy, she... Oh, now it all makes sense. <laughs> Fuck. She... Tore their heads off, I guess? Or let's let people f tear their heads off and then... Uh, Should I try a torch for? Can I do something with this uh mill blade? Okay. Uh, let's try this I guess. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um. It's still going. I guess it slowed down. I'm confused. Oh, there's a bonfire. I was wondering why that had a fog door. Okay. Yeah, I should have known. Triple breakage. Uh, okay. I like that. That's one of those bonfires that start you right next to an enemy. Well, at least um, you have to aggro them now if you if you want to. Oh, fuck it. I guess they don't aggro until you walk up to them. Interesting, interesting. Oh, has... Ah, all the... It, it was just winding down. Yeah, I can't do anything now, but... Setting fire to this thing... Actually, uh completely shut off the, the, the whole mill. Uh, a minute ago all these um, all these gears and cogs were turning and now they're now they've stopped. I wonder what that did. What the effect is. Okay. I've never been here before. Never getting tired of saying that, but that's the best, uh, the best feeling in Dark Souls. <laughs> never know what's behind the next corner, and then cheesing it. Whoa. That would have been awful without a bow. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Holy fuck. Okay. That was unexpected. So there's another caster to my right, noted. Oops. I love them stun locking so easily to my uh, ultra great sword. It's an amazing feeling. Unless you're doing four of <laughs> oh, come on. 
Don't make me waste another arrow. Should probably also uh, level up my deck some more. So my arrows do more damage. I know they they also uh, have silver black shield. Um these grave wardens they also stun when I uh, break their poise but I think I have to rush her. Uh oh, what's that? Hoo-hoo! <laughs> okay. Sneaky bomb. There's some more grave wardens. Dark spirit, what? Okay, those are unsettling sounds. Deal with you first, wow. Uh, I was looking for... what? Holy fuck! He goes through my shields! Oh, shield. Singular. What crazy insane weapon is that? I uh, let him heal. Now I have to heal. Damn you, greatsword. Yes! Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna take a break. See you in a second. Yeah. Here we are back again. Uh, defeated this nameless invader that actually didn't invade me for whatever reason. Um, strange sounds. I don't see anything. Hmm. Guess I should fight these two guys. Well, actually. Let's see what's behind here. Mushroom heads, eh? I'll teach you. Okay. Should be fairly safe. There were also mushrooms in Dark Souls 1, but they were far more terrifying than the easier. No! 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 Oh, fuck you, Mimic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to... Yet another, let's say, annoying enemy in Dark Souls. But I find them quite fun, actually. Mimics. They look like chests, but they're actually uh, 
freaking monsters. And apparently these dudes are uh, falling it. But that just this just uh, look like it because uh, it's going up. But it was uh, I was still dead. Already dead. Mm -hmm. What's this here? These parts are. These parts. They don't look right to me. Come on, parts. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep. Secret balcony! Oh, spell quartz ring. A beautiful view from here. What does this do? Increases magic defense. Okay, I didn't want to put it on yet. Uh, Paramens. Experiments are blocked and crafts these replicas much to the dismay of the Consoda's old guards factory. So it um, boosts magic defense. I guess um, if it's here, it will kind of help me at least uh, in the immediate vicinity. I hope. Oh! Ah, I just realized she actually dies from the poison if she gets knocked back and, and destroys one of the pots. Interesting. I like this place. Very, very. Oh, yeah, almost forgot about you. Very creative. And the new enemy designs. And uh, a little more to the architecture of the place. I think Dark Souls, Dark Souls actually uh, shines the most when it has like some sort of... Um, some sort of... Let's say... Um, architecture. <laughs> Go for like a building. Not that. I wanted to heal. Is there something here? Nah. Buildings and castles lend themselves to uh, to this kind of architecture. Is what I'm saying. They never. Actually, um, get very creative with uh, outdoors uh, environments. Okay, mimic, I'm coming to get you. Better save one. Sorry, don't want to get in. Uh, don't want to get. Um, Overwhelmed in there. Fuck. Now don't hit the mimic yet. Oh, also there's a Pharaoh's this lockstone. Very careful, don't open it, touch the bloodstain. Good. The thing is, I didn't think it was a mimic because uh, the bloodstain was. I mean, I, mean it didn't, I didn't think it was a trap. I didn't think it was a mimic at all. But, um, and the, with a trap, if you die, you leave the bloodstain in front of the chest. And, of course, it kills you, then turns around. And then you uh, you die behind it. <laughs> so, 
blood stains behind the chest. Fantastic, huh? Yeah. So let's uh, use this one first, maybe. Cheers, I uh, I don't know. Maybe kill the mimic first. Let's do that. Maybe that Ferris' slog stains a trap. Ouch! Okay. <laughs> okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, gauntlets. Been looking for uh, gauntlets. <sighs> that doesn't look so dark to me. No one knows the true identity of this man who has set to freely manipulate the dark. Old foreign legends describe them as poor souls who chase the lost art of life drain. Yep, I know of that art. That uh, actually appeared in Dark Souls 1. Okay, let's see what you have to offer. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, tears indeed. Um, okay. What did that do for me? Oh, it slowly regenerates my health. For some reason. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, very mysterious, this place. I must say. No illusory walls. Hmm. In moments like this, uh, that's horrible uh, message placement, dude. Yeah, in moments like these, uh, I like to quote my dear friend uh, Ziegmeier. Mm. Mm. Smiles away. Yeah, so uh, I guess we just have to go down now. The only path left to us are uh, these grape wardens in front of the gate or whatever it is. Temple? No. Okay. Let me double check just to be sure. I'm not quite familiar with the place yet. And through here, everywhere. There might be like a. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about this. I haven't gone here yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. It's a good thing to. Uh retrace your steps in this game. In a way it's linear because um, your only choices in playing the game is literally either you do it, some, t some things you have to do in order to get to an ending, but either you do it or you don't. That's your only choice and uh, it also means either you uh, get the items and make the whole thing a easier for you, or you don't. <laughs> and that uh, that depends very much on your sense of... Damn it. Finally. Oh, look at him. He's so confused. Yeah, so um, it very much depends on exploration and uh, with uh, how much exploration you're willing to uh, willing to put up. Hmm. There's no way around here, I guess. Yep, there's the enemy. I guess I'll just jump down, huh? Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I was uh, expecting the floor to be poison or whatever. It's just so dark here. Try and roll on the left. Yeah. Hidden path. <laughs> Why do you have to put these misleading messages there? Said left. Have I been here? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Said left. Yeah, there's enemies. It's okay though. You're not the hardest guy to fight. Unless um, you can't measure your uh, your sword length. Hey! Who do we have here? If that isn't paid, huh? Let me uh, look in this area first because before I go down there. Yeah, paid, remember? Oh, crap stepping. Might be a trap. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the other side of the thing. Yeah. So Pate we encountered for the very first time in the Forest of Fallen Giants and um, let me actually try this. The warden, Wardens of the Crypt watch over the slumbering dead making sure they are not awoken by the king or the peasant. Wise or dull, rich or poor, the wardens treat them with the same care. Interesting. It's lighter than my armor and it's not that much well, it's, it's better in some respects and worse than some others. Let's try it out. Yeah, so I guess the Grey Wardens are... Or Grave? Was it Grey or Grave? Wardens. Oh, nothing here. They are... Uh... Oh, poison. Fantastic. Maybe they were the ones that... Probably uh, had to actually uh, I guess tend to the zombies or slaves or whatever they are. So yeah, uh, Pate, huh? Met them in the first of all giants. We uh, talked to him and he told us, yeah, well, you can go through here. There's treasure over there, but um, I'm not gonna try it because it's way too hard. If you wanna do it, okay, but know that when you go through, the gate will close and you'll be trapped. And that's kind of okay, I guess. Because he warned me. Uh, but then, uh, I meet this guy. So what his name? He's from Mirror. As well, something else, of, of course. Um, I meet this guy from Mirror. That's uh, who's locked in a cage in Huntsman's Corpse, and he tells me, "Well, uh, Pate uh, double-crossed him. He was he was friends with him, but then he left him to die." And this message, of course. He's well, too. we meet again. Yes, we do. There's treasure this way, but I have a bad feeling about it. Huh. I don't quite have the guts myself. <laughs> well, interesting. We meet I thought he might be actually just quite... attacking me at this point, but uh, now I don't know what to do about it. I think. 
think I'll sleep on it. <laughs> See you next time.